the Independent Evaluation Office was set up in 2001 after the Asia crisis, which was a real crisis not just for the Asia region, but also for the IMF in terms of legitimacy and the credibility of the fund. So the IEO was set up to help the fund uh, to become more effective uh, at achieving its, its goals. Uh, it helps to increase the accountability of the IMF supporting the executive board. It also helps the fund to, to learn from its experience, uh, to learn lessons about how to do better in, in the future uh, from the experience of, of the past. And also it helps to increase the transparency of the fund by providing information about how the IMF works, help people to understand how decisions are made, what, what, what is the purpose, what are the objectives, what are the approaches taken by the fund. So in all these ways, I think the IEO is making an important contribution to strengthen the governance of the fund and make it a more credible, more effective institution. Well, I think the IEO is an effective institution. Uh, we, we count effectiveness not just by whether we write a nice report, but whether we change the way the fund operates. Uh, and there is a, a follow-up process by which when we've written our report, it's discussed at the board, and when the executive board endorses recommendations, it's, it's up to management and the IMF staff to develop an implementation plan and to, and to move it forward. And, and that implementation plan is, is monitored carefully. We do see good pickup uh, in the actions in the plan, but we also see sometimes that things are moving a little bit too slowly. So we would like always to increase our, our traction uh, and our influence on, on the way that the, the, uh, uh, the, the managers and, and staff are, are working. Now, to some extent, what we're identifying are deep-seated issues that can't be readily handled. Uh, if they were easy to deal with, they would already have been dealt with. Uh, but we think it's important to maintain uh, the, uh, the attention on the issues that, that we have raised. Uh, and for that, I think the key, key aspect is to be work closely with the executive board, because in the end it's the executive board that has to support us and to help us uh, push through uh, the reforms that we are recommending.